Hello everyone, you are welcome to Best Notes Tutorial and in this video we are going to talk about famous writers in English literature and their special titles. As you can see here, William Wordsworth has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 titles, 6 titles even, 6 titles in English literature. So these are asked in different uh, uh, English literature exams, TGT, PGT or UGC net. Uh, so if you want to join our PDF courses, you can uh, PDF notes courses, you can directly WhatsApp me on this number 740928756. This is my WhatsApp number and you can directly contact here. Now let's go ahead. William Wordsworth, the worshipper of nature. William Wordsworth, the high priest of nature. And it can be asked like that, poet of nature or uh, the special title, the Lake Poet, uh, this was actually a group of uh, poets, okay, a group of poets. So, next one is William Wordsworth, Poet of Childhood and William Wordsworth, Egotistical Sublime. You have to write comment in the comments because I have told you in the last video that William Wordsworth, which William Wordsworth made a detailed video on the channel, I have उसमें मैंने आप लोगों को बताया था कि ईगोटिस्टिकल सब्लाइम विलियम वर्जवर्थ को किसने कहा था तो आप लोगों को कमेंट बॉक्स में बताना है जॉन मिल्टन एपिक पोइट जॉन मिल्टन का अगर हम और नेम देखें तो यहां पे आप लोगों को मिलेंगे द ग्रेट मास्टर ऑफ वर्ड्स किसे कहा जाता है जॉन मिल्टन को एंड एपिक पोइट किसे कहा जाता है जॉन मिल्टन को एंड जॉन मिल्टन लेडी ऑफ द क्राइस्ट कॉलेज एंड व्हाई डू वी कॉल जॉन मिल्टन लेडी ऑफ द क्राइस्ट कॉलेज ये भी मैंने डिटेल वीडियो में आप लोगों को बताया था आप लोगों को कमेंट बॉक्स में लिखना है जॉन मिल्टन पोइट ऑफ डेविल्स पार्टी एंड ही और नाम है द अनदर नेम स्पेशल नेम ऑफ जॉन मिल्टन इज मास्टर ऑफ ग्रैंड स्टाइल एंड द ब्लाइंड पोइट ऑफ इंग्लैंड इज कॉल्ड जॉन मिल्टन अगर आप लोगों ने जॉन मिल्टन का डिटेल वीडियो देखा है और इसे स्टडी किया है तो आप लोग बताइए कि उनके किस एज में जॉन मिल्टन ब्लाइंड uh, हुए थे Alexander Pope. Alexander Pope has the special name Mock Heroic Poet. Mock Heroic Poet. Who is Mock Heroic Poet? John. Uh, sorry, Alexander Pope. Geoffrey Chaucer. Geoffrey Chaucer, the father of English literature. Geoffrey Chaucer, the father of English poetry. Geoffrey Chaucer, the father of English language. And Geoffrey Chaucer, the morning star of Renaissance. Geoffrey Chaucer has this name as well. The first national poet. Venerable Bede, the father of English learning. Venerable Bede is also called father of English history. Remember this one. King Alfred the Great, the father of English prose. Silas. Silas is called the father of tragedy. Okay, father of tragedy is called Silas. And Nicholas Odell, the first English comedy writer. Edmund Spencer is the poet's poet by Charles Lamb. It is written here. And the Edmund Spencer, the child of Renaissance. Edmund Spencer is also called the bridge between Renaissance and Reformation. So who is called Renaissance, uh, the bridge between the Renaissance and Reformation? So answer will be the Edmund Spencer. And as, as I told you, trick to learn all these, uh, you know, PDFs, if you wish to get uh, these all PDFs, as I told you, you can contact me through WhatsApp. And uh, I also told, told you the trick to learn them. Just make flashcards. And uh, daily, if you, you will be doing these uh, daily for 10 minutes uh, in between your study hours, you can remember all these. Gutenberg. Gutenberg, the father of printing in English uh, literature. William Caxton, father of English press. And Francis Bacon is called father of English essay. And who is called... The father of essay. Francis Bacon ko to uh, father of English essay bola jata hai. Lekin, uh, jo father of essay hai, wo kaun hai? Aap logo ko comment box mein likhna hai. John Wycliffe. Jo ye short PDFs mein aap logo ko dikha raha hoon, jis mein hum notes dekh rahe hai. Uh, iske saath saath mein aap logo ko test bhi kar leta hoon. Jo pichla hum logo ne padha hai. Bhoot zari English literature ke video 500 plus videos channel par hai. तो अगर आप लोगों ने हमारे साथ लंबे टाइम से जुड़े हुए हैं और आप स्टडी कर रहे हैं तो डेफिनेटली आप लोगों को ये सारी चीजें पता होंगी जॉन वाइक्लिफ जॉन वाइक्लिफ का स्पेशल नेम है द मॉर्निंग स्टार ऑफ रिफॉर्मेशन क्रिस्टोफर मार्लो इज कॉल्ड द फादर ऑफ इंग्लिश ट्रेजेडी विलियम शेक्सपियर 
bard of Avon, William Shakespeare has another name, the father of English drama, and William Shakespeare, Shakespeare is also called Sweet Son of Avon. Uh, he was uh, born in this place. William Shakespeare is also called the bard, and bard means poet, if you don't know. And Robert Burns, the bard of Ayrshire, Scotland. Robert Burns has another name, the National Poet of Scotland. So who is National Poet of Scotland? Robert Burns. Robert Burns, Rabbi. Robert Burns, the uh, plowman poet. Who is called plowman poet? Robert Burns. William Dunbar, the, the Chaucer of Scotland is called William Dunbar. Dunbar. John Dryden is also called father of English criticism and William Newbery as father of historical criticism agar aap logon ko nahi pata uh, criticism ka hamara course shuru ho gaya hai agar aap criticism ka course particular koi bhi part agar aap ugc net ki taiyari kar rahe hain koi bhi part agar aap join karna chahte hain history of english literature uh, criticism poetry drama koi bhi agar ek section agar aap join karna chahte hain so you can join in 499 ओके सो इंग्लिश लिटरेचर का कोई भी पार्ट अगर आप लोगों का वीक है तो आप सिर्फ उस पार्ट की तैयारी हमारे साथ कर सकते हैं विलियम न्यूबरी फादर ऑफ हिस्टोरिकल क्रिटिसिज्म जॉन डन इज कॉल्ड पोइट्स ऑफ लव एंड जॉन डन मेटाफिजिकल पोइट सैमुअल टाइलर कॉलरिज इज कॉल्ड द पोइट ऑफ सुपर नेचुरलिज्म सैमुअल टाइलर कॉलरिज इज आल्सो कॉल्ड ओपियम ईटा ओपियम ईटा क्यों कहा जाता है ये आपको कमेंट बॉक्स में इफ यू नो you can write down otherwise just uh, go through my videos and you will come to know about these things coleridge and wordsworth the father of romanticism and uh, wordsworth coleridge and saudi these all three are called uh, lake poet and lord byron the rebel poet in next video we are going to cover subtitles with their real name and these are the notes so you can uh, say Uh, nearly 200 uh, pages and we have made uh, nearly 30 plus uh, list for your uh, upcoming courses see you soon bye bye take care